Hello and herzlich willkommen. That means hello and welcome. My name is Lara and today we're finally doing the long awaited wall tour. I'm so excited to finally bring this to you because I've been hinting at it for a while now. And yeah, I finally got all of my new prints up there. I'm sure by the time this goes, well, not by the time this goes up, but a few a few weeks down the road there'll be more prints on here so maybe i'll need to do an updated wall tour but for now this is my complete disney art wall tour it's my whole collection and i'm sorry if the light is bad today by the way because the sun keeps going like from behind the clouds and it's coming back out and it's just it's really annoying <laughs> i'm sorry it's annoying me too i know that like half of my face is dark and the other half is light but i just wanted you guys to appreciate that i put on makeup and it looks pretty cute i'm very excited about it anyway uh full disclosure before we begin some of these prints have been gifted to me and i will be as honest as i can be and as open as i can be about all of these and i'll tell you which ones i bought with my own money and which ones have been gifted to me i thought about the best way to organize this and i think the best way to go about this is to organize them by artist or shop we'll start off with the ones that i can definitely sort to a shop there's some here that i bought um in disney world during festival of the arts that i can't really sort so you'll see when we get to it but i think um, I'm gonna turn you guys around and then we'll see. <laughs> okay, this is an angle you guys rarely see and I know there's some prints that like my head covers. So I think we'll start with a Disney photographer. She's also on Instagram. Um, she's called Disney with Mar, I think. If I pronounce any of these name, names wrong and you're one of the shops, please, I'm sorry. We'll start off with this beautiful Epcot print. I bought this while I was still um, in Florida so i didn't have to pay that much shipping for it because right now like shipping from the us is crazy it's a beautiful epcot print it's very nice um quality i think she does um digital prints too which i've thought about getting some not 100 percent sure yet if i will but yeah this is um i love this one obviously i had to get epcot and then i also got one more and that's this um everest one it's like a thick cardboard postcard this one's actually kind of not really stuck to the wall but it's a beautiful picture um she obviously takes all of these pictures herself and it's it's just beautiful i love this picture so much everest is one of my favorite attractions so yeah i really i had to get these two the next shop I want to talk about is Believer's Dream is in You. You guys know her. I've posted about this shop on my stories before when I got when I got everything. Um, but yeah, there's some prints here that I got for free, and I'll just I'll just talk about it. This one I ordered, and it's just beautiful. It's the Germany Epcot costume, which uh, she didn't have. Um, so I texted her. I was like, is, is, "Are you gonna make that one?" She was like, "If you find enough people, I'll make one." And I was like, "Yes." Yeah. So she made this, and. Uh, I don't know I'm just in love with this I think it's so cute and it just fits so well on on here <laughs> I love it so much this one she gifted to me and I love this she has like the series where she um does suitcases in the style of different movies or attractions and this one is Winnie the Pooh obviously this one is beautiful I had to think about it so long which one I wanted to take but I didn't end up taking this but she still sent it to me which was very very nice of her and I really appreciate that. I also have this Tower of Terror one. This one I actually ordered. Uh, this one I paid for myself and uh, I don't know I decided for this one but I could have I literally could have ordered all of them. They're so beautiful but I love this Tower of Terror one and I love how big the prints are and they're just they're like kind of thick paper. I I don't know they're really good quality they're super beautiful and just so detailed and yeah if you like any of these prints go check out her shop i'll put it on the screen i'll put a link in the description too just so that you guys can have a look and yeah i'm very excited about that one now we come to the shop that I'm a brand rep for, so full disclosure, I didn't pay for any of these and I do have a coupon code, it's Lara10, if you want to use it, I'll put it on the screen as well. So if you like any of these, feel free to use my coupon code, but uh, it's Clarity Prints, um, she has this beautiful card, I love this card so much, it's so pretty. And if I find a shop with a really cute card, I put it on my wall as well, so 
yeah if you're a shop and i order from you and you have a cute card it'll be up on my wall <laughs> the first print i'm seeing here is my ohana print it's uh yeah it's ohana this one's on like a matte cardboard i think she changed up her printing style and i think this is the new style and then i think this was my favorite one and this one was the one that i like wanted <laughs> when she asked us like which one do you want and i was like this is my favorite one it's like an ear collage print and it's so beautiful like this the it's a small world ears which i'm wearing right now um <laughs> if you guys didn't notice but yeah this is the next one this is also um the matte cardboard or matte thick paper and if you like this these ears then um she also does like personalized ear collages wait i'll have to show you she made this one for the brand rep team and I know she does this for like everyone but she asked us for our favorite ears and you can order a card like this with like your friends and their favorite ears. I know some people um, that did their DCP arrival or their house um, and their print their favorite ears as a print. Okay and then we have this You Are Magic print and I had to look this one up because I wasn't sure anymore but this one uh, she only sends to people that have a program that's been affected by COVID and obviously I got sent home halfway during my program and so she sent this one to me. This is like um, shiny and I think this is the old paper and then the matte one is the new paper and last but not least this happily ever after print that's my stitch peeking um this happily ever after it's just oh sorry it's so pretty I like it a lot I like like that they're kind of simple but still cute and then this one's just by far my favorite it's uh, I don't know it looks so good I got some other things from her too but this is not a haul or anything this is just my wall tour so I'm not going to talk about them if you do want to see my haul um, you can go and check out my Instagram which I'll link down below and I did a reels um, about everything that was in my backpack Okay, so this is the last thing that I can definitely sort to a shop. It's practically perfect pieces and their business card. I ordered a shirt from them and a patch for my jean jacket. Their business card is so cute. So I had to put it up here. It's like the old fast pass and I don't know. It's, it's so cute and it just had to go up here. And so I think those were all the prints that I can definitely sort to a shop like i said the ones that are coming now are more like memories from disney and this will kind of be like a little trip down memory lane i think i've shown you a few of these before i'll just show them to you in no particular order since i can't really sort them to anything festival of the arts is such a good festival but as a traveler it's really hard to like you can't really buy full-sized art pieces like big canvases like this and send them home so I bought mostly postcards like they're a lot cheaper and it gives you the opportunity to buy a lot more and to hang a lot more on your wall yeah anyway let's continue in no particular order down memory lane first thing here is obviously my uh, mickey postcard i bought this at cost connections it was like 60 cents or something but it's cute it's go it's gone up here it doesn't really match to be honest like it's not really art but it's cute it has to stay here this is an applausogram which honestly like i didn't know that they did those <laughs> um i know about cast compliments obviously which is where you tweet a cast compliment and then they print it for you but this one um i think they went to guest relations to um actually write their message out to us so it's like a cast compliment but it's actually written by the guests and yeah, this was uh, from Jody and Joshua and I did this uh, together with my manager. We gave them some schnitzel because the um, restaurant was closing or they didn't want to go inside the restaurant. I'm not sure. They, well, they got schnitzel from us for free and yeah, <laughs> we made some magic for them. It was really nice. They were really kind and I'm glad that I was able to make some magic for them. And it's really nice to have their actual writing it's so different than a print from a tweet all right so next is this moana art piece and i just uh, photographed the backside it's a postcard like i said and the backside has the name of the artist this moana art, pre art piece obviously i got this from festival of the arts this was from the germany booth the wonder 
Underground, I think is what it's called. And I love Moana and this art piece was just so adorable. Okay, the next thing is this Figment Festival of the Art postcard as well. This is something you get when you do the mural. So when you do the paint by numbers, you get a postcard like this afterwards. So if you're ever there for Festival of the Art, just do the paint by numbers and you get a cute little souvenir. And other than that, it's also a lot of fun. Okay, I'm stepping on, up on my couch now. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> this is such a cute print. It's like, I thought it was just, a, it's a small world, but it's like all of Magic Kingdom. It's all like the little rides, like it's a small world and pirates and country berry jamboree. Shout out to Nikki if you're watching this. <laughs> uh, I, I doubt you will, to be honest. I don't think she'll be, she'll be watching this, but anyway. Um, yeah, it's a cute picture. I had it up a lot higher before, so I just hung it down a little bit lower. So maybe you'll be able to see it in the picture. But I really like this one, even though it's like high up and no one can see it. I think it's cute. It's a very different art style, but I like it. Okay, continuing down the wall, this is uh, something we got as cast members, as Epcot cast members specifically. They gave us this to like show us what Epcot could be looking like in the future. It's it, It's got a lot of details, which I'm not sure how, how I'll be able to describe. Like, this is Guardians of the Galaxy, this is the new fireworks show, and then obviously like all of this is going to look different than it did like a year ago soon and i know they're like doing really big construction so they gave these to us just as like what we're changing and like thanks for being part of the evolution of epcot the next thing is this card we got when we went to the cast preview for mickey's and minnie's run away run, run away railway it's it looks like a movie ticket because it's in the chinese theater and i'm so glad we got to go to that it was amazing i loved it it's such a good ride if you haven't ridden it yet you definitely should definitely not rise of the resistance but it's good it's really good but yeah this is what we got so it's more like of a memory piece obviously it looks very cute um but it's more for myself and like being reminded of that day this picture we got um <laughs> funny story we um got coupons for christmas and one of our coupons was one free print and i needed to get that print because the coupons nearly ran out so i um this was the day we did our animal kingdom backstage tour so i got up super early in the morning and i, I had on like shorts in the morning because i was like i'm not wearing long pants if i'm going to the parks later so i put on shorts and the sweatshirt uh, because i really wanted to take a picture in the sweatshirt since it's like my cast member spirit jersey so I went to Magic Kingdom, I went and took a bunch of different pictures and then in the end I decided on this one. Honestly, if I had 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 more time, I probably would have taken a different picture. But I think it's still cute. It it looks good on my wall. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, it's a cute picture, it's a good memory, but it could have been better. <laughs> I always feel so awkward, like, taking pictures by myself with a photographer. I always feel like... I don't know, I, I'd rather take pictures with characters and maybe I should have just gone and taken a picture with Mickey. Okay, and I think this might be the last one. I think we're done. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, this is another print I got from Festival of the Arts, another Moana one. And I don't know, I like this one a lot. It's so cute, Moana and her grandma and the water. I think, I think we're done. I think we did it, people. Just a quick shout out to my Stitch for always being in the corner and my little baby Yoda and my Baymax who's new and a friend made, made him for me. Um, and if anyone ever wants to send me any plushies to be in the video, please do. <laughs> There's a lot more room here for more of them. Okay, so I'm sorry if the perspective changed a little bit. Um, I obviously had to take my phone up and anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's not like you're gonna remember, I think. Yeah. I think we're done. I think we're done with the wall tour. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some insight. Maybe you found some beautiful shops that you want to buy something from. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Because if you haven't, then like, what are you doing here? Go subscribe, like, stop what you're doing. Subscribe to my channel. Um, sorry. <laughs>
yeah if you liked any of these shops feel free to check them out like i said i'm gonna be leaving a link obviously this is not sponsored from any of these shops like i said i told you everything that's been gifted to me and all of these other things i bought with my own money and i just wanted to share like something about the art that's behind me in my videos because i think i don't know i think it's nice to shout out disney shops and mostly small shops of course if you know any small shops that should go up on my wall maybe you have your own small shop then please leave a comment down below and tell me which shop it is and what i should be buying and what would look cute with all of this like there's obviously a lot more room and if it ever gets crowded i'll just push you guys a little bit further backwards and then <laughs> we can see more i know there's like a few things up there that you can't really see which is kind of annoying i do also have a picture wall which i don't think would be that interesting to show you because it's just pictures of me and characters but yeah comment your favorite small shops down below if you have your own small shop feel free to tag yourself it's it's fine i'm giving you permission i'm always giving you permission if you ever want to like shout out your own small shop be like hey that print looks cute i make something that will look amazing on your wall and yeah i'm always up for supporting people i know that like i can't buy a lot because most of it comes from the uk and shipping is expensive and yeah anyway i need more we all know that <laughs> i think we've we've gotten to that point where we know that i need more things on my wall and i will see you guys in two weeks on Friday and until then stay magical. I'll be the same.